Hey everybody, it's Eternal Beta. Welcome back to the Rack World Tour. We are once again back on the random acts of crafting multiplayer server. And first of all, hope everyone had a happy holiday and a very happy new year. Hope everyone stayed safe out there. Before we go anywhere, I just want to show you guys the these kind of light posts that I've been playing around with. I've kind of just kind of thrown them up around this area of town to see how they would look. I don't know, something about town just seemed a little bit too plain to me, so I wanted to try something, and you know what, I like them. We'll wait to see what the other guys think, though. I like them, I think it adds some character. You know, it's not going to do a whole lot for lighting, being that it's, it's off the ground like that, but I think it, it gives some character to town. And speaking of town, you guys knows my inventory. I've been doing some caving underneath town. Now, I thought all the caves were completely wiped out. Obviously, I was wrong. If you, <laughs> if you can see everything in my inventory, that's a lot of stuff. But town is not what the focus is today. We're going to go ahead and take a run into the nether and over to my new secret project. Before we go, I'll show you something that Alk has been working on. This room, which is something I've been wondering about for a while, is actually going to be a map room. Hello? Zombie? Anyway, Alk has rigged this up so that when you walk in, all these lights turn on. There will be maps in front of that. And then we walk back out. Turns off. Very good work, Alk. Can't wait to see that finish. That's going to be a lot of work to do all those maps. But yeah, let's head on into the nether. Take a stroll over to... Oh, hi. Hi. That scared me. Hi. Frame rate. Frame rate. Frame rate. Frame rate. Reload. Thank you. Whoa, frame rate. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, let's take a stroll over to someplace you may recognize from the last episode. Oh, but I guess I should admit that this is the second time I'm recording this. For whatever reason, OBS decided to, you know, disable my microphone. So I recorded an entire episode with no audio, isn't that lovely? I think every LPer has done that at one time or another. My mic is shaking around a lot. I do not know why, so I apologize if you if you were getting any feedback from that. But while we're taking a stroll over there, let me just mention, obviously there hasn't been an episode for a while. I did mean to put one out on either Christmas or Christmas Eve. We recorded a group event. We did a white rabbit gift exchange. And if you want to see that, you can kind of go to any number of the guys' channels in the video description. They all have it. I recorded it. Unfortunately, when I went and looked at I hadn't recorded in Skype in a while. Usually, usually we use Mumble, but because of the large group, we decided to use Skype. And my audio levels were just all way off. Everyone else was just way too, too quiet, and I was way too loud. So I didn't feel like it was up to quality. So... If you remember last episode, getting back to where we're going, you may have seen this. EB Secret Project, no filming beyond this point. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take that out now because it's time to show it off. This is pretty much what I've been dedicating the last uh, three weeks of my life to. Now, I know you're probably wondering, EB, new secret project. Whoa, hello. Whoa. Whoa. Is it just you? They always freak me out when they do different... Okay, die. Oh, man, that... Come on, come on, come on, come on, Gasty. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyway. Where was I? Hey, you're probably wondering, EB, new secret project, but what about the Desert Palace base? You just finished the glass ceiling and everything. Yeah, well, I kind of lost inspiration on that. It really wasn't turning out the way I wanted it to, the way I originally pictured it. So... Um, I don't know, I kind of, maybe it was the fact that I was working on one project just way too much, but I kind of burned out on it, kind of lost inspiration, and I got a bunch of inspiration for a new project. So let's head in here, obviously we're going to have to do a whole bunch of uh, work there on some type of tunnel, because we don't need to be battling gas every time. Okay, so we're over here now, and have one of these weird... Uh, portal blocks. I don't know what's going on with that. 
Hi, zombie. Did I? I'm not sure if I killed him or he died just before I got to him. Anyway, this is our new area. I'm going to let the terrain generate a little bit. Seems like when I have OBS running, for whatever reason, the terrain takes its sweet time in generating. So, for reference, the witch farm is that way. So we're a little bit north of it. And when I saw this area on the map, we have a map overviewer. I just fell in love with it because it matched up perfectly with what I had in mind. So we're going to head this way. Oh, look, a sign. Builder's request, turn brightness to moody. All right, let's, uh, let's agree with myself and turn it to moody. Obviously, out here, you guys can't see any difference. So let's follow the path here. And this area, it was just fantastic when I saw it. There's this river that cuts through these beautiful mountains. Put in this little gravel path here, and it all leads to this. This is the outside of my new base. And I'm trying a new building style here. One of the things that I've never been happy with with my building is the lack of depth. So I'm trying something with a little bit more depth, a little bit more detail to it and I really like how this came out and then finding this cliffside this was pretty much what sealed the deal on this area for me finding this this kind of flat cliffside where I could build right into it just really really did it for me so to speak I guess anyway let's head in first thing you guys will notice is on either side I built two little rooms this one is where I've kind of set up my bed for now and that's not going to stay there this however will stay it's going to be a kind of a smelting area and all these chests that you see out here i'm going to move in here have this be a little storage area but let's oh keyboard freak out let's go ahead and head down to the main part of the base you guys will notice dark oak same on the outside kind of supports on either side half slab floor and the main entrance room this is kind of where it all starts. Been spending a lot of time on this area. First thing that everyone obviously notices when they come in here, aside from how large this room is, are the support columns. These kind of follow the same style as the opening wall, the beginning wall, the outside wall. Outside, that's, that's, that's the word I was looking for. The outside wall they kind of follow the same style using the oak, dark oak as supports and mainly stone stone brick cobblestone really really like how these came out and i kind of just expanded from there did a custom tree now this is the first custom tree that i've ever done and i really kind of like how it turned out i uh i'm happy with it i think i could do better uh probably sometime in the future but for this purpose i think it works perfectly i want i knew i wanted a kind of a thick tree but not a large tree so i think this came out well i may end up coming back and doing some like roots in the ground like there and there you know kind of to give it a grounded look instead of just looking like it's it's floating on the grass kind of the way it is now but i do like it i absolutely do like it like i said it's the first custom tree i've done and from there i just really expanded out started putting in the large torch fire areas there and there with the banners hanging down taking some inspiration from kind of fantasy dwarf architecture a little bit mixing in some more traditional you know human design really liking how, how it's coming out and if you guys remember the desert palace palace base is almost using the same theme three entrances off of the main entrance and the only one I really have anything done in is this way which is going to be to my forge now the forge is going to be a combination of smelting area uh, weapon storage armor storage probably crafting areas that kind of thing this is what the main hallway is going to look like, look like. there are not going to be torches here there will be lava behind here it's going to be a lot of lava a lot of fire this is probably going to be the most dwarf-like area you know dwarven forge kind of the fantasy lots of lava lots of fire i already said that this is 
going to be what our transition rooms look like. So, you know, bottom of a staircase and it's going to split off in several directions. So kind of the intersection room, if you notice, lots of water dropping. This whole area is actually underwater. And I had underestimated, or should I say, no, overestimated. That, that's, that's the word. That's the ticket. Overestimated the size of this mountain. And I kind of popped out right into the middle of the ocean here. So this was a fairly frustrating process to get this whole area mapped out or uh, blocked out, should I say. But it's going to work. I'm going to go down that area to the fours. This area is going to go down to a passageway off of the storage area. Let me eat here real quick. Storage area going to be that way. Probably a couple other things along with the storage area. I kind of want to do something more in depth than I did at the Desert Palace base with just the one large room. Something a little bit more fantasy, a little bit more in depth. And then this way I may do kind of an underground city of some type. Again, Dwarven in style as well as all the farms I'm going to need. I do already have an idea for the farm design that I'm going to go with, and I'm really excited to, to actually build it. Believe it or not, the only thing I don't have an idea for is the storage room. That's totally unlike me. Usually the storage room is something I want to jump right into, but I'm going to have to think what I want to do. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. Needed to finally show you guys before I could do any more work. I've been itching to do more work, but I knew I had to record an episode. I wanted to show everyone what I've been working on. I'm sorry if I seem scatterbrained. I'm actually just really, really excited about the potential here. And I think next episode, I'm going to show you there's a very extensive overworld area, like all around there. And I have plans for not one, not two, but three different town areas. Huh. Biting off more than I can chew? Hmm, maybe. But we'll see. It'll be fun either way. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for joining me once again and sticking with me. I'm going to try and get an episode out uh, in under a week because I still have a lot to show you before I do some more work here. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and as always, spread the word. So until next episode, I'll see you guys later.